morning, everyone. This is Onion. It's uh, Thursday, March 4th, pre-market. I'm going to go over the short and institutional activity uh, with you for NEO uh, for March 3rd. Uh, as you can see, the short volume uh, did drop off a little bit, uh, and you know, so did the ratio. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's two points lower than the day before. It's still a little bit high, but it's, it's staying average now. It's slowing down. Um, the uh, It's still only uh, a quarter percent uh, to borrow if you wanted to sell short. Uh, and uh, there's uh, 10 million shares available, so the, the float keeps on getting uh, uh, replenished at 10 million shares. Uh, but this can change throughout the day, so this is this is as of 7 uh, a.m. today. Um, so it seems like uh, the, the short volume has dropped off. Uh, I, I gave this a price, a NEO price target of 37.50 about two weeks ago. I did a video if, if you look back, and uh, uh, I believe now this that is. It's, probably where we're going to end up and I believe a lot of short sellers are thinking the same that's why the uh, that's why the activity has fallen off um, institutional wise uh, you can see here uh, not a, there wasn't anything yesterday that was filed on March 2nd uh, there, there was a, a, a very large increase in holdings uh, most likely because the the price dropped um, but you can see like a, a, a almost a 5,000 percent increase in holdings so you know there is still strong institutional uh, uh, support uh, but I believe that the strength is in the, around the $30 mark. I'll, I'm going to do a, a more in-depth uh, research with NEO again today. Um, I've been following this one for almost a year now. So, uh, But all, anyway, altogether, uh, institutional owners, as of yesterday, 780, uh, representing 45.56% uh, of the float.